Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install Nitex V OptiScaler mod in Warhammer 40,000 Spacebar into This tutorial is for PCs with RTX GPUs I've already shown the setup process for AMD GPUs in my ROG Ally video We'll drop the video link in the description Just a few changes in this video OptiScaler mod allows us to replace DLSS upscaler with XCSS or FSR3 upscaler It also allows us to use FSR 3.1.1 frame generation in games that do not support either DLSS or FSR frame generation yes you heard it right not only this but it also fixes the HUD flickering problem that we have seen in many games when using Luke FCS mod this problem used to occur in games that do not support either FSR or DLSS frame generation like Space Marine 2 I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU I'll be running the game with DLSS upscaler and FSR 3.1.1 frame generation so first let's just download the latest version of the mod this is the one that I'll be using 0.7 preview 22 I'll give the github link in the description of the video this is the update log the mod is now compatible with control you just need to enable extended hard fix setting to fix the flickering of the game's interface I'll test control in another video expand asset section Download the dot 7 z link, just click on it. After enabling FSR frame generation, there will be some ghosting around the character models. It's due to the game's post-processing effects. So I'll be using another mod to disable these post-processing effects. This is the mod that I'll be using, disable screen effects. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods website. I'll give its link in the description. These are the post-processing effects that this mod will disable. Vignette. Description has been provided for each effect. Fury, low HP last life blood splatters shield region just click on files here download the latest version of the mod 4.1 click on manual download click on download click on slow download space marine uses tlss upscalers version 3.7 i'll just update it to version 3.7.2 download the latest version from tech power ups website i'll give its link in the description this is optional click on the latest server space marine 2 uses easy anti-cheat we need to disable it in order to use OptiScaler mod this means with the mod installed you won't be able to play the game in online mode online co-op just open the game's install directory select the game in your steam library manage browse local files open client pc folder open root folder open bin folder open pc folder in this directory just create a new text file right click in the blank area go to new then click on text document select the entire line of text just type run game dot bat need to create a batch file yes change the extension right click show more options and just click on edit add these lines i'll provide them in the description of the video click on file click on save close in order to run the game with ESC disable and just execute this bat file run game do not launch the game from steam store now i'll install optiskiller mod open the mods archive file that we downloaded earlier there it is select one of the dll and ini files don't need to select these two folders copy paste them in the games installed directory where we created the batch file right here replace it's for xcss upscaler ok we need to rename nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll file that's it now i'll update dlss upscaler open dlss upscaler's archive file that we downloaded earlier latest version extract its content just one file copy this dll file paste it in the games directory where we pasted the mod files you'll see this replace prompt click on replace upscaler has been updated you can check the version 
details 3.7.20.0 now i'll install the mod for disabling post processing effects open disable screen effects archive file there it is extract its contents these two files copy them open the games install directory open client pc folder open root folder open paks folder open client folder open default folder this is the directory where you need to paste these two files these two files will be already present in this directory so just create a backup of them otherwise you will be required to verify the integrity of the game files if you want to delete this mod replace that's it the mods have been installed now make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting is enabled on your pc this is for rts gpu owners right click anywhere in the blank area click on display settings click on graphics click on change default graphics settings enable this setting hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if your monitor supports variable refresh rate that is vrr enable this setting as well now i'll enable vsync from nvidia control panel I'll also enable low latency mode, helps in reducing the latency. Just click on manage 3D settings here. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Scroll down to the end. Enable vSync from here. Look for low latency mode setting. Set it to ultra. Max frame rate. I have set it to 30. I was testing frame generation. Just set it to off. It's a way to apply fps cap that's it we have applied the settings click on apply my monitor supports freesync premium gsync compatible just click on setup gsync here enable these settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode enable settings for the selected display model apply we are ready to run the game make sure you're not using a third party overlay like afterburner rtss i'll be using windows toolbar to show you the performance metrics press the windows plus g keys together execute the patch file at launch you will see this login error this means esc is disabled in game settings resolution set to full sd it's very important to enable dlss subscaler this will activate optiscaler mod using dlss subscaler's quality preset display mode full screen vsync off Motion blur off, no FPS cap applied. Most of the settings are set to high. Texture filtering settings set to ultra. Detail set to ultra as well. That's it. Now I'll open OptiScaler's menu. Press the insert keyboard key. There it is. From this drop down bar, we can select the upscalers. XCSS, FSR 3.1, and even older versions of it are present. I'm using DLSS. This is its version 3.7.2 Frame generation can be enabled from here Disabled it for the time being You can select different presets of DLSS from here Entirely up to you I am using the quality preset Like preset E Helps in reducing ghosting around the particles Close Alright we are in This is Lieutenant Titus Fellow Space Marines Chiron and Gadriel Oh my god look at the vomits Okay, here FPS is close to 120. Good performance even without frame generation. GP load is close to 90%. I'll just enable frame generation now. Open OptiScaler's menu. Frame generation on. Haven't enabled hardfix setting yet. Close. Just want to show you its effect. You can see the games. Hard elements are flickering, even the crosshair is flickering. FPS increased to around 180. Yeah, I can also the added amount of smoothness. Oh my god, so smooth, buttery smooth. I'll just open the debug view. In the bottom middle image, there shouldn't be any hard elements. If you are seeing the hard elements, this means games hard elements will flicker. When you enable frame generation and this is exactly what's happening here. And just close the debug view. Enable FG hardfix setting. Set the limit value to 1. 
this will fix the flickering of the game's HUD on RTX GPUs as you can see in the background even the crosshair is not flickering I'll just open the debug view now in the bottom middle image no HUD elements are displayed this means the game's HUD won't flicker with frame generation enabled and this is exactly what's happening disable debug view let's just play the game check out the game's performance this area is very demanding I'll use my flamethrower oh my god yeah we are pushing away these vermins I need to interact with this panel my companions are AI controlled One sixty to one eighty FPS. Not observing any ghosting around the character model. The image quality is looking sharp. DLSS upscaler is working very nicely. Let's use my blade. Swing my blade. survive objective updated time to leave this place next area another hold oh my god i'm out of grenades yeah here fps dropped down to around 120 gain is still running smoothly Very impressed by the performance of this mod. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.